Hello. If you look down over a vast area of northeast Brazil, you may see these strange regular patterns covering the surface where the, for the forest has been cleared. If you now come down to ground level, you'll see that the, in fact the odd shapes are formed by massive mounds of soil. Each mound has been built by termites, and we estimated that they are up to 4,000 years old, making some of them the oldest mounds on the planet. Their most striking feature is the mounds are spaced in amazing regular patterns. From the air, the mounds appear to be absent in the surrounding forest, which stretches endlessly across the northeast region of Brazil. However, as we show here as the researcher moves from a recently deforested area into the uh, surrounding natural dry forest known as Caatinga, also known as the White Forest, through the forest the tops of the mounds can sometimes just be seen. The mounds can be up to 4 metres tall, although most reach between 2-3 to three metres in height. Unlike most mounds, these have no internal structure and just composed of a waste soil ejected from a central tunnel during the construction of a vast underground network of large tunnels relative to the size of the termites themselves. These tunnels allow small temporary passages to be built to allow them access to the forest floor so they can forage uh, safely in the dead leaves which is their only food source. By using a Maxent model and thousands of kilometres of ground truth in, we can now estimate there's around 200 million of these mounds covering an area similar to the UK. This means that around 10 cubic kilometres of soil have been excavated, making this the greatest known example of ecosystem engineering by a single insect species. We suggest in our current biology paper that the pattern of mounds arose through self-organisational processes helped by the increased connectivity of the tunnel network and this is driven by the episodic uh, leaf fall that is predominant in the very dry uh, areas of Brazil. Thank you very much for listening.